Scorpio, how you doing? So I keep hearing something's getting started by Mick Hucknell. So somebody that could be ginger. Uh, I don't know, but I'm hearing uh, something's just getting started. So obviously a uh, a song reference there. So Mick Hucknell, Mick M Michael, Mick McKinney, uh, McGinn, or so anything that is muck, something muck. So mucking something out, trucking. <laughs> you could be trucking or fucking, I don't know, but I'm hearing talking fucking. <laughs> so I don't know, or talking effing. So, I don't know, also hearing Steph, Stephanie, Steve, Sarah, Sassy. Um, anyway, sorry, very sporadic messages. Uh, Scorpio, well, I only said Pisces, you could be dealing with the Pisces, but Scorpio. So, yeah, something's just getting started. It's kind of like, well, is it starting or is it not? Is it your car? Is it a not? So, uh, Pisces, <laughs> you could be dealing with the Pisces. Um, but is this starting up or not? So is it around your car? So you're dealing with a Cancerian, life path number seven or a Cancerian. If you haven't seen my channel before, you're gonna find it very weird. Sorry, I'm very distracted this morning because I could have a phone call coming in very soon. It's also my first reading of the day, uh, Scorpio. So let's see. So is it starting or not? I don't know, something to do with around a Cancerian, a life path number seven and a Pisces in this energy. And is this gonna start or isn't it gonna start? Are we gonna do this or are we not gonna do this? You really could be doing like a Libra or a Sagittarian energy but like a choice, a decision. Are we gonna start this or are we not? Is it gonna work out? Is it not gonna work out? Is it gonna happen? Is it not gonna happen? What do I do? <laughs> so is it to do with a relationship or is it an actual thing? Now that thing could be a Stephen, another Stephen, but like the thing, Stephen King, uh, never mind. <laughs> uh, sometimes Scorpio, when I do readings, I kind of think those people that don't know this channel are really not gonna know what I'm talking about. Okay, I don't know, that seems to be a message. So they're saying that it's kind of like this, I don't know, like a metaphysical feeling or something that a lot of star signs have had. And it's kind of like that energy of anticipation and waiting is why I think that you're probably dealing with a life path seven or a Cancerian energy. And like this, I'm very like, like anticipating, anticipating the outcome, but not knowing the outcome, but feeling it. Do you know what I'm saying? Which is like why it's around a Piscean. So it could be the Pisces that's feeling that. And it's like, I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to say. So, I don't know, it's kind of like this, I don't want to let you down, I don't want to be horrible, I just don't know, and I just don't know you yet, or I just don't know, I just don't know. <laughs> That's all I can hear, I just don't know yet. Because it's kind of like that, I don't know, you could be just getting started on, like with a person, and you're just getting started, and you're probably dating, or something like that, and you're kind of like, well I really don't know what the outcome's going to be yet, because I can't, because I can't. So why can't you? So there is this energy that you could be going through individually yourself, Scorpio. We are like, you know what? I really want to get this project started. I really want to get this thing going with this new person or something like that. But I can't because I don't know what the answer is. So it might even be where you've got an answer, but you just can't, you can't guarantee. So then Gary or Tina or anybody beginning with T or G, but like, I just can't guarantee that, right? So this is why I would pick up on no income tax, no VAT. So something to do around you might have to pay your income tax or your VAT or something like that. Something to do with the car balloting or having your car done. So done, put you, you're up in here. Um, yeah, what else have we got for you, Scorpio? Wow, it really is early. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think we're just going to stick with those. It's kind of like that. Limbo. This is what I get all the time because I'm a life path number seven and I get that all of the time. So if you if you guys are feeling like that, I get like that all the time because I always end up sitting in those seven of cups energies like that, like seven of pentacles, seven of cups. Like I'm sitting and I'm waiting and then I'm kind of know that something is there and I'm about to, but then the seven of cups kind of takes over and you kind of like sit in those metaphysical type sort of like well, all of the unknown stuff, and I don't really know, <laughs> right? So it's kind of like this equivocal dreaming feeling energy of waiting for something, okay? Now, this could be a connection, it could be a meeting. Um, it's like I said, it's more of that feeling of like, I don't know yet, like I don't know which direction to take my life in. Like, or I don't know, like if it's comparing as a Chris Cornell, okay, or the name Chris or Christine, but like, um, if it's kind of like that anticipating, it's kind of like, well, I'm, I really don't know. I just don't know yet. So, see, I'm also hearing temperance, which would be like Sagittarius or Taurus energy. 
and I'm hearing tempted, like it's a tempting offer, like someone is tempting me, like and I feel really, I mean it might be you, it might be someone else, but the, the story so far of what they're telling me is tempting. So it's a tempting offer, okay? So it could be financial, anything like that for a lot of you who are looking for anything financial, but it's something that keeps tempting me, tempting me, like pushing me to do it. Now it could be spirit, okay? It could be spirit, because spirit does get you to do that, okay? But the message is I keep feeling tempted to do it. Now I don't know if that's go outside of a relationship into another one, or I don't know whether to like, take this opportunity because I already, because I am picking up for some of you, it might be you or the other person, where there's this tempting offer, okay? And it's kind of like putting it all on the plate and everything down like a magician would do, and put everything down on the table, okay? And get everything out and get everything seen, right? So it's kind of like, well, we need to see each other. We need to know each other. We need to get to know again, to know you. So it's kind of like you might be getting to know someone. It's a bit like Scylla Black. I think this came up for a long time ago. Um, so anybody beginning with S or B, okay. Um, but like this blind date, like a blind date. Because I'm hearing with Scylla Black, it's blind date. So someone else, two, two energies had this scenario. Two other readings had this scenario. And uh, I think it was around Leo and stuff as well. Okay, and it was, I was given an analogy of Michael Aspel. So anybody beginning with Mike, Melissa, Maria, Matilda, Melanie, Michael, Jackson, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine. Okay, but like this, um, it's kind of like Michael Aspel would always do this, this red book and it would be, don't get fed up, these are just stories, but they are relating to your energy. Okay, Michael Aspel would have this, <clears throat> great big red book and it would be full of people that of old friends and people that you may have known at school and all of that kind of thing so it could be like a friend type sort of like energy that's around you like a friend but the unknown friend frenemy enemy emma melissa maria matilda anybody begin with m but like or e okay but like this energy of like the unknown soldier jim morrison someone called jim jelly justin justin jackie jasmine Morrison, M, Emily, Melissa, Maria, Michael, all of the M's, <laughs> right? So it's like this, uh, so can you remember me back in 1956 when we used to blah, 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 and then they used to sit there with the audience and everything else while a voice came from the other side, basically, on a microphone, and he would have to sit and guess, and the person would give him a load of clues that he was a person, like he was a person. They would give a load of clues, and then in front of his wife and everything else, this person could also be married, I don't know. But like there would be a star, so he could be dealing with Aquarius or a Leo. And there would be a famous person and they would sit back in the like stands and whatnot and Michael Aspel would go, okay, blah, blah, blah. And they'd say, can you remember me back in blah, 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 so on and so forth. And he would be sitting with his wife, okay, and they would say, oh God, yeah, I remember that's fucking Dave or someone, right? And then all of a sudden, they would come out the door and they'd go, oh, I was wrong, it wasn't. And they would just have to remember the person by their voice. So it's kind of like that. It's like this feeling of that analogy of that show, if you like. It's kind of like sitting in, in the rafters and anticipating something to happen and you've got a voice to go off, but you don't know. <laughs> so I don't know, is what, is what I'm hearing. So it's kind of like a lot of this unknown factors of Jim Morrison, really, like the unknown. I don't really know yet. Right, so it's kind of like a date, but like a blind date, if you like, which is Scylla Black, which is also a reference of a message through a um, TV show. And then it would also be Michael Aspel's, I forget what it was. I forget what it was called. Any of you British lot out there would know, right? Um, so yeah, it's kind of like that feeling, if I, can, if I can, well, I'm just basically trying to give you my vision and what they're telling me and trying to give you a vision of what your messages are, Scorpio. So some kind of unknown soldier, unknown factor, Scorpio, Biden, you're obviously still up in here, <laughs> right? Um, like the unknown, I don't know what's going to happen. The unknown soldier, the unknown soldier, it's all over for the unknown soldier. Uh, sorry, Biden, but it's all over. See, it's either being kicked out of Congress or something like that, but 
you know, mark my words. <laughs> Sorry, guys, if you followed my channel and you watched the Capricorn reading, you'll know that a Scorpio energy came up there and it was to do with mark my words, you have one month, okay? So I, I can't 100% tell you whether that's being kicked out, okay, or leaving, like I said. It probably, to be quite honest, okay, so any of you interested in politics, which I'm not, but I'm just going to give you those. Some of the Pisces as well, okay, I don't know anything about politics. But uh, they're also saying also abandoned, right? So it might be fear of abandonment and all of that bollocks. But um, it, it's this energy also of like, if you can, because obviously you guys have sent me certain video clips and I've probably looked some of it up myself because you've been sending me the clips. But um, did you notice that in Kabul, is it Kabul or Kabel or something, Kabul? But like um, the president or there whoever abandoned the country and fled, right? I'm just saying, bruv, Scorpio, somebody might abandon, which I think a lot of you, well, I mean, I'm not going to throw my opinion out there, yo, it's your country, right? But they're saying that somebody could abandon ship. It might be something to do around a six or a Capricorn or Gemini, but somebody's going to abandon ship. So jump overboard, basically. So I don't know what this is around. I'm actually seeing a ship and people jumping overboard. Okay, I'm seeing... Jesus Christ, man, what on earth? This is fuck, I ain't even had breakfast yet. What on earth? Really? I can see people falling out of a ship or people jumping out of a goddamn aeroplane. That's the God's honest truth. Paragliding? Parachute? I mean, trust me, it could be a straight up message if someone's about to go parachute. Something's about to go bang. I'm just saying. I'm putting that one out there as a claiming energy of a medium. I can hear that someone is about to jump off a building. So the tower is definitely here. Jump off a building. When the bodies hit the floor. You see, it was a message. It came up in another one. When the bodies hit the Oh, man, I don't want to get emotional. Anyway, <clears throat> the captain of our ship is about to jump sail. The captain of our ship is about to jump ship. So something around a Gemini or a Capricorn is about to abandon something or about to jump. I don't know if these are messages that are coming in for you guys and your love or whether they're coming in for you guys around something that is to do with worldly events. So just, I don't know. You can never change your future. Okay, Your future is written by what I'm telling you. Honestly, I'm not joking. Your root, your, your, your root, <laughs> your root chakra. So some of you might be working on Garut or root, okay, or anything that you're eating that might have to do with roots, lettuce and things, or any root, I don't know. Um, that's what I'm hearing, roots. Um, foundations, definitely big tower energy of what I'm seeing in my esoteric head. Uh, Ed, Edwina, Eddie, Uncle Eddie, my uncle is a Scorpio, is also Uncle Eddie. Um, I don't know, let's go back to what this might be for you. I don't know, it's about, it's something here of a message that they're saying like this, I don't know whether to drop this and abandon it, as in like, I'm not abandoning you, I just don't know. And it's kind of like that, I don't know, it's a bit like this blind date bit kind of thing, right? And it's kind of like, I don't know, like if I'm gonna end up like leaving like leaving, do you know what I mean? It's why it's around like a seven of cups or a seven of swords energy. And it's kind of like, I don't know what to expect when I get there. And then when I get there, I don't know if I'm going to get there and then leave, but then be classed as abandoning ship, which is around six of pentacles, six of swords, six, so six. Okay. And it's kind of like, I don't know what the outcome is going to be when I get there. And then when I get there, I don't know what that is whether I'm going to like leave or stay. Now, I, like I said, it could even be a straight up message of a journey that you're going on, like a physically going to work or something. And you know, you don't know if you're going to be in one door and then straight out the other one. Do you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like that. Like, I don't know. I just don't know. So you guys, you know, obviously you're spiritual and you're watching this, right? But how I channel those messages that are going to relate to anything in your life, but you just have to put those clues together of like, ah, I know what that's meaning in my head. I kind of know what you're saying, right? 
because for the people that are like, what the fuck and all does all this mean? You you won't have you won't have no idea, okay. It is. It's kind of like that blind energy of like you don't have an idea. Like like you. Do, I don't. Oh fuck! I give up, man. You're all too. I'm a Scorpio rising, so it's kind of like that. I don't know what the outcome is going to be. I don't know if I'm tempted this way or tempted that way. So some of you could have options and, and, and offers. And you're kind of like, well, I don't know whether to take this option or that option, like door number one or door number two. So Cameron, Cam, Cameron, Camtasia. So the baby I predicted. So Cam, camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. Something to do around a baby. Okay, a baby. Something to do around your children. Uh, I don't know what to do about my children. I don't know. There seems to be a hell of a lot. Of, I don't know what to do yet. Okay, it's kind of like this waiting for an outcome that you know is there, but you're just kind of like waiting for it to happen. A bit like the phone call that I've got from the hospital today, Scorpio. <laughs> but you can also watch this as an Aries or a placement of four. But my advice would be try and get all the messages from all of them, really, because everybody in your life is going to have a number. I don't read from star signs so much anymore, even though you two presents it as a star sign. I'm starting to see things in numbers which means that everybody, everybody in your life, somebody rising Venus, Jupiter, North Node, has a number. Life path, healing year, and then also numerology of number within the actual cards. So basically, you will be in nearly every reading compared to the numbers that are compared to sons, daughters, mothers, sisters, brothers, people you know. Okay. So, I'm starting to sort of like read differently. But we've got a new deck. <coughs> okay, I'm also hearing we've got a new decking. Some of you have actually physically, like myself, have got a new car deck, or you've got a new decking, which would be like a wooden decking that lives outside. That lives outside. I've got Pinocchio that lives outside. You're right, Woody. <laughs> someone's got wood. I don't know. Or someone's giving someone wood. I don't know. Or someone doesn't know if the other person's lying or not. Do you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of this unequivocal unknown factors of Jim Morrison. And a lot of this, I don't know if the person's telling the truth or if they're lying. Like, I just don't know if they're a liar, if they're telling the truth. I just don't know. <laughs> so, I don't know. I mean, if you're going to court, that would be kind of messages, I suppose, for you. I just don't know if they're lying or being honest. I just don't know. Anyway. Because it might be that you haven't even seen a person. Like, you haven't, see you haven't seen them. You don't know them, but you do know them. That's what my spirit is saying. Like you, you know them. You've not seen them, but you know them. But you don't know to not be able to say. And that's what my spirit is saying. <coughs> so I know you, but I don't know you. I'm getting to know you, but I don't really know you. <coughs> Excuse me. That's what my guide is saying. I know you, but that's why it was a cryptic clue of around Michael Aspel. It's kind of like, okay, I know you and I've known you for so long, blah, 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 but you don't know me and you haven't seen me, but you know me, but who am I? <laughs> and it's kind of like, okay, let me guess. And then he would have to go through a list of names that he may know. And then it's kind of like, okay, now I'm looking for an unknown soldier. So hold on a minute. So, okay, now give me another clue. Okay, so I am like pink, I am blue, I am fluffy and everything else. What am I? Gonzo, sassy. <laughs> so like, you know, I'm a, I don't know, fucking carpet monster? Like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, kind of like these cryptic clues that I've been given to someone and they're kind of like, well, I'm following the clue. I am pink, I am blue, I am a number two, Libra energy. I am pink, I am blue, I am a number two. Who am I? Someone that's pink, blue and a number two. No? Well, I don't know then. Give me another clue. Okay, I'm from planet fucking Mars. I've lost my fucking mind. Okay, ah oh no, fucking lunatic. <laughs> oh yeah. So there you go. I've lost my mind. I'm a fucking loony, adding all of these numbers up that people send me fucking daily. Steve, I've seen 58, 59, 49, 69, 58, 69. I watched this show, that show, that show, this show. That had 22, 54. That had 54 followings. Had the four carry the one. 96, 94, 8. Okay, that was my birthday of that. Okay, that's that fucking... 
calm your fucking tits down, bro. <laughs> Sorry, but I get this all the time, Scorpio. I get people that send me this sort of weird shit all the time. They do. I'm sorry when it comes across as arrogant, but that happened to me fucking years ago. <laughs> years ago. So when someone appears up in now, like, Steve, fuck, I've seen every single number under the sun, and that relates to my son and my daughter and my moon and my rising. Yeah, it's good, because that's kind of what I'm teaching you. But I don't forget I'm the teacher of that. <laughs> so I'm not interested in... Sorry, it's coming across a little bit arrogant. But like when it comes up to people sending me all of these, man, I've seen fucking aliens and fucking like numbers and aliens. Sorry, I'm not calling anybody out. But if you check your email, <laughs> you'll notice I actually sent your reading back. But because of all of the... 10, <laughs> no, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, uh, sorry, but just, I'll just say this, check your email, okay, I've sent you three of them, <laughs> okay, back with the reading that you had already done, okay, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> oh. people and their awakenings, man, sorry, I, I can, I know what it was like, I've been there, like I said, fucking, I've done this for like 16 years probably, okay, all of that stuff now, to me, it doesn't really make any sense. It doesn't make any sense whatsoever, okay? So you've got to be dealing with like a Libra energy or number two anywhere. But like it doesn't make any sense to me, right? It doesn't. So... <laughs> I don't know why people find it like fascinating to send me multiple energies of like, man, I've seen like all of these things and shit and like... You know, trust me, that's why I took down my old channel. <laughs> because I come across to people as if I was a fucking raving lunatic. I used to record all of those <laughs> a long time ago uh, on how the mind thinks within the link. I was a raving fucking lunatic. Okay, I got that embarrassed after during my awakenings that I took them all down. And then sometimes when you go through your Facebook, you realise what the fucking hell was I talking about back then? Like, I was off my fucking head. Like, the truth. It's God's honest truth. Any of you in that predicament now, you wait till later. But like, man, people keep sending me like, have you seen this other channel and that other channel? And did listen, fuck, I've been doing this for multiple years. Of course I know of other people. But, you know, please stop keep sending me messages about other channels and shit. You know, of course I fucking know. <laughs> like, you know, but some people, not all of you, I mean, I'm a Scorpio rising, and I get this daily by people sending me links to other people's channels, and have you seen this, and have you seen that, and like, you know, fucking hell, bruv. I think this is where it comes to that crunch, Scorpio, that when your channel grows, and any of you out there trying to grow a channel, you'll soon realise that when your channel grows, the more drama you get from people the more because obviously the more the more people that are involved in a group those groups of people are all going to think and feel and see different energies especially when it's spiritual and everybody starts having their own opinion of what they see and what they believe and what they don't what they already know and what they don't compared to other people that already do so when you approach energies that already do Sometimes when you approach like my rising, it's difficult to get through to my rising if I already know the end already. <laughs> right, that's where the Jim Morrison comes through. So, you know, I've already had my breakthrough. Fucking, I've had 115 awakenings. <laughs> you know, so those kind of things to me now, you know, because you do, you do get it. You do get people that try to get people's attention by like, look, have you seen this? And you're like, yeah years ago <laughs> like a long time ago oh well how come you're not fucking interested you arrogant arsehole trust me when you're here you'll know what that feels like and you'll know because you'll go for it yourself you see so it's a lot of that energy i don't know why this is here you could be dealing with like pisces reading which is my star sign <laughs> or like uh pisces sun scorpio rising it's very fucking difficult when you have a youtube channel and you get people that come out the woodwork sending you loads of different stuff that you, that, you know. Just, <laughs> sorry, but I'm a Jim Morrison kind of person. I'm a deep, dark sign. Scorpio rising, Scorpio north, Scorpio 12. You know, 
Neptune in the first house that helps me do this. A lot of people ask, why is it that you can do all of these kind of things that you do and make predictions of death, life, birth, names of children, their weight, how, how, what they're going to be called a year later without me even knowing. The X-ray, the child, the baby, Cameron, Prince Philip, fucking, you know, an extended amount of evidence that has always came up, right? But um, that's because of mainly all of my planets that are in the star sign energy, mainly Neptune in the first house, Scorpio rising, Pisces. But uh, I don't know. I don't know why that's of an interesting factor to people out there. But, you know, trust me, I, 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 I get it, <laughs> right? I mean, which means I get it coming at me, but I also, I get it, right? I get it. I know where you're all at, right? I've been there. So, I get it. That's, what, that's also a message for someone. I fully understand. I get it. <laughs> so somebody could be watching this that has a tarot card channel that gets that as well. Okay. Because I'm hearing as a response in the background of like, trust me, I get it. Right. So I understand and trust me, I get it. So that's also uh, messages out there for people that also like Natalie. Somebody keeps sending me messages also. You, you've mentioned Natalie, Alchemy and you. Do you know of her? Of course I do. <laughs> I don't really watch Natalie so much anymore, but I know that she has a channel, but I'm doing this, right? And I'm so busy, but like, you know, I would watch Natalie now and again, but do I know Natalie? Of course I do. Fucking years ago, more than likely when she first started. <laughs> right? <laughs> Some people, they don't know my story and they turn up and they go, Steve, we know, we see you and we know you, but you don't know me. You don't know me. I've been doing this for fucking years. Not just on this channel, the other channel that was Angel Radio. I did that for like six years, seven years before this. All those got deleted, you know. So about 15, 16 years. But I've been fucking strange my whole life. <laughs> so anyway, Scorpio, like I said, they're not messages for everybody that get bored with those. They are for certain people. Okay, certain people. So let's see. Scorpio, the wand of destiny. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> Wanda, I'm also hearing someone that's French. Wanda, a fish called Wanda, something to do with around Pisces. But I'm wondering, but I'm also piercing through. It's kind of like I'm breakthrough. Uh, someone broke something here. Like, I mean, a physical break. Because like on break, but I'm hearing I broke something. So I don't know if you dropped something and broke it. Because I'm hearing, oh man, I just broke it. I just broke it. I'm also hearing a same-sex relationship because I'm hearing Brooke, Brooke, Buck, Men, Brooke, the name Brooke or Shields or Brooke Shields or Brooke, okay, or Pembroke. Pembroke, Penfold. <laughs> oh, my mum's got one of those. David Jason was also in... Um, um, no income tax. You right, Dave? But uh, you have to be British to know those ones, my son. But uh, yeah, so something to do with the mountain. Something to do with um, like Brookback Brook Mountain. Some same sex relationship, maybe. Uh, but I've I broke something, and now I have to try and mend it. So I'm on the mend, is what I hear. Mendez, someone that's called Mendez, someone that's Italian or something like that. But like um, Mendez, Mendez, yeah. The men of March is also what I'm hearing. The men of March. He had 10,000 men. And when they were up, they were up. And when they were down, they were down. And when they were only halfway up, they were neither up nor down. It's kind of like this feeling of being up and then down. It's kind of like I don't know. Because an ace of swords is also just an, a window of opportunity of speaking. So it's more than likely that you are. But it's like a feeling of knowing the truth, but a knowing of, like, I don't quite know the truth yet. <laughs> right, I don't know what the truth is myself. So I can't really give you that answer yet because I don't know. Right. Truth. Intelligence. Emotional intelligence. You really could be dealing with, like, someone that of myself, of sorry, but, like, Gemini. Gemini moon, Gemini Mars. Emotional intelligence. Connecting with people's emotions and feelings. Telling them the truth. Being honest. Okay, so some of you really could be connecting with someone that is appearing up, appearing in your life here. Okay, that could be a Leo energy, which would be the sun, um, is appearing up as honest, 
like I have to be honest with you and I am being honest with you okay this is what I want what do you want but it's more like someone's appeared up in your life that is being honest with you they are not lying that's not for everybody they're just trying to be honest with you okay so I think equivocally within this first week that you are trying to be honest with yourself and you're also trying to be honest with other people or anyone in your life of realizing the only way I'm really going to get through this is by being honest. And that's why I tell the majority of people in my life to fuck off. <laughs> Sorry, but like, uh, do you know what I mean? That's part of my channel. I tell the truth, right? I try to. I'm honest with people and sometimes that breaks people. Okay, because I'm hearing, okay, let's be honest. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. B. Anybody begin with B? That's B in their name. B. Um, let's see. Scorpio. Scorpio, what they got coming up, please, for the first week of September. So the Eight of Wands. So you are dealing with like a Leo, Aquarian energy of number eight. Okay. This is a new deck, so please give me time. Uh, I just need a little time. I'm hearing that. We're talking. You see, this is equivocal energy of also semen. <laughs> it is. Because it's I'm seeing. So have I seen you? Am I seeing you? No, you see me. No, you don't. You might be getting yourself some kind of like, I don't know if it's a Lagardian Le Leveriosa, bruv. It is me Lagardian Leveriosa. Or like, um, sort of like, um, I put a spell on you. No, there are not witches out there. They belong on TV, which is Witches of Eastwick, okay? <laughs> but like uh, Eastwick, someone that lives at East, or they are Wick, the Wicker. This could be a Wiccan, okay, a Wiccan. But I don't believe in all of that stuff, really. But like uh, a Wiccan, or a Wicker basket, or Wicker. The Wicker Man. So that was um, the actor, right? What was his name that was in The Wicker Man? Oh, I don't know, I'm going to be your ages doing that. He was in Raisin, Arizona. You could be from Arizona. Arizona. Raising children. Uh, but anyway, someone's rising up back on. There's something to do with Leo energy. Rising. Leo rising. Someone here has a rising up of Leo rising somewhere. Okay. And I'm rising up. So you're talking with someone here, definitely. Okay. Fast communication, but truthful. This person's not lying. Whichever way around you want to look at it, they're not lying. They're being honest. Okay. They're just being honest. And they're talking to you. Ooh. Somewhere over the batshit rainbow. We're not going to take all of those, but you've got the Ten of Cups. So you could really be dealing with the Pisces. Let's see. Scorpio for the first week of September. Scorpio for the first week of September. Uh, five of Swords. Ooh, fucking hell, bruv. What the hell? Look into my eyes is what I'm hearing. Can you look in my eyes? Have you seen someone's eyes is what I'm hearing. Have you seen my eyes? Have you seen my eyes? Distraction. Somebody gets distracted by thinking because of the unknown is what I'm hearing. I'm getting distracted and I can't think because there's communication, but five of swords, why would you get pissed off with someone's communication? That's what I'm saying. It's only that you're getting pissed off with someone's communication if they're pissing you off. <laughs> but if someone's guaranteeing you by telling you the truth no you're not pissing me off then they've just told you but there could be multiple energies that are here up for your week where you're kind of like look actually some of you are pissing me off now like I said with my job and your job and everybody else's there are going to be factors in life where people piss you off okay because is what I'm hearing is is like I'm talking to you but I'm also thinking that I'm pissing you off right so like, if you're not getting a reply by, by someone and they're not replying and they just give you a very bland, quick answer of like, just reply really quickly and they're not really giving you much leeway into like question marks and like sending you things, then obviously that's kind of like one of these signs of like, well, am I pissing you off? But if someone is keeping up that conversation, I don't know, it's a lot of this Jim Morrison unknown stuff. Like it's making me think, speak, but making me think. Like, it makes me think, but it makes me speak. <laughs> it's a cryptic clue, I feel. Now, these cards are different, so you are going to get different readings from me for a little while. 
But I'm hearing, well, can we just think about it for a little while? Can we just, like, talk and then think about it? Destruction. Persecution. It's kind of like that energy of, like, like the unknown, and I don't know if this is going to destroy it or not. That's why you could be dealing with, like, a, a, an energy of Mars, which would be where my fucking <laughs> Gemini is. Like, search and destroy. I don't know if this is going to be destroyed or not. Like, my project. Like, someone has a project and they don't know if it's going to be destroyed. Annoyed. They just keep saying annoyed or paranoid. Like, no, you're paranoid. It's all right. And then trying to calm someone down and say, no, look, you're just paranoid. I mean, I get this with my job. It's an easy message. For a lot of you, you relate things so much to tarot cards being that, because I'm watching my star sign, it's because they're playing mind games. Right? It's what a normal reader will tell you, more than likely. But in your life, you'll miss all those deep energies that Scorpio Pisces can tell you. <laughs> right? Which is like, um, I'm just getting really annoyed at the moment because I'm thinking that much, but... But it isn't. It's like I said, it's like a cryptic clue of the unknown soldier like are you playing mind games with me but like i said these are also messages that i get with my job people like they have a go at me and think that i'm an arrogant arsehole because i don't have time to listen or, or of all of this jargon that i get like i don't have time to listen to all of that okay and i get that from other people and think well you're an arrogant arsehole you haven't got time to listen to me you understand so it could be a straight up message of something else there for you. I get it. <laughs> there you go. That's probably a message for you, Steve. I know, I get it all the fucking time. <laughs> okay, let's see. The life of a number seven and a Piscean and a Scorpio. You just don't get it. <laughs> ah, let's see. And also, and I'm going to say this also, do not skip this bit. Whatever it was, I don't want to mention the person's channel. It's not Natalie, okay? The other person's channel that well, I was with before. Something went on that I have no idea what went on. So please, please stop keep relating me with the other channel that promoted me before. I'm not saying anything bad. I don't want no bad, nothing. It's just that doesn't work anymore and it hasn't done for quite some time. People keep appearing up in my comments on the chat. Oh, so-and-so and so-and-so is doing... I don't want to know what goes on, okay? And I would equivocally also be honest, the other person doesn't either. Because everybody keeps coming to me saying they're going to this other channel and they're mentioning my name on it and they're not getting a very good response for it. That's a sign. That's a sign that the other person does not want my name mentioned on a channel that at the beginning was promoted to make it. So I'll stand up, I will say, not mentioning the channel. So all of you guys that keep coming back to me saying, I'm not getting good responses when I go to this channel and mention your name anymore, that was told for you guys to do that, the person hasn't actually told you, don't mention it, right? Because of obviously being YouTube and whatever it is that goes on in one's head. So you guys don't know, right? So please do not mention that channel and please do not go over to that channel and mention anything about my channel on that one, okay? Because you, you, you guys just don't know, and I get it all the fucking time. And I'm getting really pissed off with it, right? Yes, someone promoted my channel. And then all of a sudden backtracked and then stopped doing that. And then when people mentioned my channel, they got cut off and they got took out. And they got told not to mention my fucking name. Well, that's nothing to do with me. Someone has a big fucking ego. It's not my problem. Okay? Because people are soon going to start getting my fucking Scorpio rising sign. Because I'm getting pissed off with it. Oh, well, we said our name over on there and we didn't get a good response and the person looked pissed off and angry. Well, go and ask them. Not fucking... Well, don't. No. <laughs> Just fucking leave us alone. <laughs> Jesus. <coughs> I can't help it that somebody promoted my channel and then backtracked and then decided fucking not to and then when you guys go over there and mention my name, 
you don't get a good response and then you ask me why, it's none of your fucking business. <laughs> Sorry. But man, the life of a fucking tarot card reader. Sorry, I'm just showing all my fucking... <coughs> oh dear. Let's see. Scorpio. Scorpio, somebody rising Venus, Jupiter, North Node. Scorpio. So the Three of Cups. So you're dealing with the Pisces for a lot of you. But there's just some equivocal energy of the unknown. It's there. It is a connection. Like I said, it's a spiritual one. You're obviously on like twin flame spiritual journeys because you're a watch, right? So, you know, you're on a journey of spiritual connections. That's what you're on. You're looking to connect with an energy that connects with you well. The only way you do that is by networking your energy, is by making connections, whether they be good or bad. But normally, whether they're good or bad, the unknown always leaves those factors of the five, sword, five of swords. I'm not really sure yet. It makes me think, sure, and it makes me feel all kinds of quivery inside the arts. But there is still this energy of being, it being metaphysical and not physical. It's the possibilities that are there of a connection, but it's not actually manifested into like, you're right, sweetheart, what would you like for tea? Do you want me to go in the kitchen and actually cook it for you? Do you know what I'm saying? It's more of this kind of like metaphysical connection. It's not manifested itself of anything that is physically stable physically stable this is the life of a fucking spiritual healer you're all out there all up the time especially when you're a seven <laughs> you're out there all the time right you network your connection okay and then the possibilities either come true or they don't normally when they don't you get blamed when they do it works out but you don't never really know and that's why you have this in your reading i don't really know yet okay so they are different readings. Thank you for taking the time in order to listen to all of my complaints. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It's probably a message for myself. But uh, anyway, yeah, so uh, <laughs> you won't believe what I can honestly see in my head. Uh, anyway, thank you so much. I really appreciate it, guys. This was only really supposed to be the first week was supposed to be over on Patreon, the Full Access Deer. So if you do want to go over there and join, you obviously get everything. You can watch something Rising Venus, Jupiter, and Off Node, all of your numerology following those and the numbering. So you get to watch all 12 and then you can pick up the messages of where you are, where it comes to your daughter, your son, your friends, what they think, what they feel, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. It depends. But you can watch them all. But the full access bundle is what happens after the monthlies. And then they all go to the full access bundle. So if you want to know more about it and you haven't joined, you can find the video provided below. If you have joined, please make sure you use the app and not the link. If you haven't joined and you want to, follow the link and join, okay? But once you've joined, make sure you download the app. That's why you probably find it very difficult to get on, okay? Because you want the app, not the link. The link is to join. The app is to use, okay? Uh, but anyway, it does tell you everything below. A lot of you already know, okay? Um, yeah, personal email below for a reading, okay? Uh, Angel Radio, also music producer, an artist of certain forms. <laughs> so if you're interested in that, it's free music. It's on this channel in a playlist, but it's also on another one separate where it is just music. Okay, so you might enjoy it. I don't know, it's free. Just have a look, have a gander, bruv, see what you think. Thanks very much, Scorpio. I really appreciate it. And uh, I will see you hopefully on Patreon, if not next time.